video I'll be talking about how to use a simple spreadsheet to do financial calculations. The four financial calculations we'll be looking at today are future value, rate, period, and payment. We'll go through each of these one by one, show you how to use them, and how they might be useful to you. Let's start with future value. This is the one I use most often, usually to do projections of what investments will grow to at certain rates of return. It helps you understand compound interest. So if you had a question, let's say the question is if I have $50,000 now and I invest $50,000 per year for 20 years and earn 5% on all that money, how much will it be worth in 20 years? And the way you do this is equals future value FV put in a parenthesis and then you'll see that it guides you down here and tells you what to put in next. So the rate is 5% per year, the period NPER is 20 years, the payment and in an investing calculation this is always a negative number is minus $50,000. The present value again in an investment scenario is also a negative number minus $50,000 for what you have now and the type is either a 1 if you put the money in at the beginning of the period or the default 0 which is money being put in at the end of the period. Then you hit return and it tells you that it will grow to 1.87 million after 20 years. Next is the rate function and this is useful if you have a question like this one. If I put $10,000 per year into a whole life policy and after 20 years it is worth $240,000 what was my rate of return? And just like before, you put in equals, rate, parentheses, and then it will guide you. 20-year period, the payment is $10,000 per year. The present value is currently zero. The future value is a positive number, it's $240,000. And you're putting that money in at the beginning of the period and it allows you to put in a guess which sometimes helps it to calculate it accurately but I find you don't have to put that in most of the time and it'll give you the right answer and then return 1.71 percent per year that's actually pretty typical for a whole life policy over 20 years next we'll talk about period or NPER this is useful if you're trying to figure out how long it's going to take to pay off your student loans so here's the question if I pay $50,000 per year toward my $200,000 6% student loans, how many years will it take me to pay them off? You put in equals NPER, the rate is 6%, the payment is $50,000 per year, and because this is a uh, debt question, uh, we, you'll use a positive number on the present value. Your future value will be zero. That's also the default if you leave it empty. And let's assume you pay that at the beginning of the period. So it's a one. So it takes 4.4 years to pay off those student loans at $50,000 per year. Now payment is useful to figure out what the payments will be on a mortgage or another type of loan. So again it's equals PMT parentheses the rate is 4% on this 15 year mortgage the period is 15 years the present value again a positive number because it's a debt we're talking about is 500,000 the future value will be zero and you pay it at the end of the period and then parentheses and the payments are about $45,000 per year if you need a monthly payment you can just take that cell and divide it by 12 that will give you about what it's going to be. Now that's not exact, but it will be pretty darn close to that. Good enough for your purposes. Thanks for your attention. Hope that's helpful.